watch that. And, and you've been too legit to quit for a long time <laughs> oh my as we as we continue our right. journey through I got 90s rap. Left. You, I, I'm, I'm about out too. It's all good. I actually like the sense of humor because they're they're saying, hey, we're there, but they're doing it kind of appreciate in a, a fun work. way, right? We do appreciate all of the crews. Winston-Salem PD actually stopped on the side of the road to sort of protect Justin Schreyer when they were doing their live shot. We appreciate that. You take a look out there at the roads. They're going to be out there, of course, clearing those off for you for your Saturday morning. You need to stay off of them. That's what they're saying. Kimberly Marsh there. This is Eugene Street in Greensboro. Thanks, Kimberly for a couple of photos here just to show us what the roads are like and take a look at our weather camera. This will show you as well. We've been adding some snow to the streets again in downtown Graham and notice that the streets there are covered in snow. Quite a bit of traffic on Friday nights. I myself was out for dinner and there are more cars on the road than I normally see out and about folks. So if we stay off the roads and overnight those crews can get to work. We've got temperatures that are well below freezing, so we're in the low 20s all across the area. 21 in Greensboro, 23 in Winston-Salem, 23 in Mount Airy, North Wilkesboro as well. Wind chill values are in the teens, so thanks to Justin and Louie for standing out there in it. I also asked Louie for a snow measurement, and he stuck his finger in the snow, and he said, yeah, it's about an inch, <laughs> and yeah, pretty accurate there in Burlington, so thanks for that. 21 degrees in the triad, 26 in Charlotte, and 28 in Columbia. Look at the cold air to the east along I-9 these folks and these kids Boy, are they happy from Raleigh all the way down I-95 because snow doesn't fall very often like this in eastern North Carolina. We're on the back edge of this storm system. We are still in that winter weather advisory through about 4 a.m. The worst of it will be east with a not so good ice storm taking place right along the coastline right now. We're going to see some snowfall accumulating. Of course, the farther west you are, the less you'll see. Still some snow covered roads even across Forsyth and Davie counties with the light snow that is coming down. We do have uh, the roads covered heavier snows over there where Louis is in Alamance County and Burlington, Greensboro and Justin Winston Salem too with some snow down in Arcadia and Lexington. You've got light snow coming down. It is heavier down toward Ashboro and those are the communities where we do anticipate getting a couple of inches before it winds down here in the next hour or so. So we're on that back edge. Charlotte saw about an inch and a half of snow. They've got accidents all over the place in the metro area there in Charlotte. So that will be moving away as well so that by tomorrow morning we'll be dealing with the nothing across the region except for what's on the ground. That precipitation will be offshore, so we will have temperatures that are in the teens and of course a little snowpack and some on the roads. We'll watch that snow continue to move to the east after about 1 a.m. It should be out of here and we are anticipating some one to two inches plus in parts of Alamance, Randolph, maybe southern Davidson County as well over toward Raleigh. We've already had an inch in Burlington, an inch in Welcome in Davidson County, three quarters of an inch in High Point and a half an inch in Winston. In Salem. We also have the wind chill value that will be down in the teens that will continue overnight. Slick and slippery roads. We will warm up above freezing tomorrow afternoon just for a couple of hours, so we'll get some melting. Also with the sun, that should help melt it away fairly quickly. For the foothills, a cold day with a high of 36, a lighter wind. In the mountains, some freezing fog possible after midnight. We're looking at teens tomorrow morning, and you still have snow on the ground in the mountains, so there could still be some black ice around, even though you didn't get additional snow. Snow. High temperature about 34 for tomorrow afternoon. So as we go through the weekend, we have to deal with those morning teens. Even on Sunday, wind chill values cold tomorrow morning and just be prepared for hazardous travel. There's your seven day forecast. The temperatures do get into the 40s by Sunday afternoon. Our next chance of precipitation comes in the form of rain, possibly snow on Tuesday.